a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people from uh, the Gullah Bible. That's a translation, if you will, of the Holy Bible. And it would be good if I found my glasses so I could read. Where would I have my glasses at? Well, I have to. I need the glasses to read because the way, the way it is, you see the where they have it. They have the whole English, you know, the Shakespeare Marlowe kind of English uh, there, and that column there, small columns, small type, and then slightly bigger font is for the uh, Gullah Geechee. Hey, yes, turn to Corinthians nine, Corinthians nine, page. Uh, let's go six twenty-five, and we'll go. Uh, Corinthians 9, and we'll do 6, if I put the glasses on, so I can read. We read uh, up to 6 times a week from the Gullah Bible, because I'm trying to, I'm connecting with my, with my maternal Gullah side, and figure it, you know, well, we'll talk about that in a second, let's just go, did I say 6? Okay. What I mean for say, the one with the one who ain't plant, but a little bit of seed ain't never gonna have his, a big crop, but the one with plant plenty seed gonna have his, a whole heap of crop. And the translation in old English is, but this I say. He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. That's common sense, no? I guess. Unless you got a lot of people. Oh, we won't make any comment. We just, we just, we just read. Uh, um, and then on Saturdays, which should be in a couple of days from now, then we explain things further. But uh, basically, I, I, my curiosity is like, how did my, you know, my maternal side, you know, the, the, the newly freed people get to be so, so literate so quickly, you know, learn to read and write so quickly. And the answer was the only book they had was the Bible. So they dealt with the Bible. And this is a translation of the Bible. So again, let's go to Second um, uh, Corinthians 9. And this is 6. What I mean for say, the one with ain't plant but a little bit of seed ain't never going to Harvest a big crop, but the one with plant plenty seed gonna harvest a whole heap of crop. And the translation is, a, but I say, uh, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. It's a reading of the uh, New Testament. As, as rendered by the Gullah people, by me, T, from the Patterson Sacred Trenches, that let you know what I only suspect.